Hi guys, welcome to another Monday video. That means it's the start of another week and this is the second to last week of program. The semester is almost done. We are almost into December. Tomorrow will be the first day of December, which means that Christmas is coming, which is super exciting because Christmas is awesome. It is the best time of the year and there's lots of fun stuff. There's all kinds of decorations. There's all kinds of Christmas trees. There's all kinds of wreaths and there's all kinds of presents. Presents are awesome and they're so much fun and it's really great to give gifts to each other and to receive gifts from friends and from family. And we are going to talk about the most important gift of all and the reason we celebrate Christmas. I bet a lot of you guys know it, but Christmas is the day that we celebrate Jesus's birthday. So we are going to talk about that today in Bible study and we are going to start by reading a verse in the Old Testament before Jesus was even born. So we're gonna learn a little bit about Jesus before he was even born. These verses are in the book of Isaiah. They're in the Old Testament and it's chapter nine, verse six. It says, for to us, a child is born. To us, a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And so years and years and years before Jesus was even born, the prophet Isaiah said in the Bible that there would be a child that would be born, that he would be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Now, if you're just a normal human and you're a normal human baby, I don't really think you should be called Wonderful Counselor and Mighty God and Everlasting Father and Prince of Peace. So when Isaiah said this, it was very obvious that he was talking about a special baby. So a special baby had to be coming in the future that the people were going to wait for. They were going to wait for this amazing gift that God was going to give them. And so they waited and they waited and they waited. And years and years later, Jesus was born. So Isaiah talked about Jesus before he was born and he prophesied and he told people that Jesus was coming. And then we get to find out that Jesus was born. And we're going to read about that from the book of Matthew, which is in the New Testament. In the book of Matthew, in chapter one, it talks about Jesus's birth. And it says, now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife. For that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife, but knew her not until she had given birth to a son, and they called his name Jesus. So Isaiah the prophet talked about Jesus before he was even born. And other prophets too talked about Jesus before he was even born. And they were telling people that Jesus was coming. And then we find, we find out in the New Testament that Jesus came and that God sent Jesus to earth in human form. And so Jesus is both fully God and fully man. And that is really hard to understand. It's really hard to wrap our heads around. But the amazing thing is God is so incredible that we can't understand everything about him. If we could understand everything about God, he wouldn't be God. God is so amazing that there are some things that are just very confusing. But God sent Jesus and Jesus came as a baby on Christmas. And that's why we're so excited because Jesus is the best gift Ever. And he came to save us from our sins, which we've been talking about the last few weeks. And that is why so many people talked about Jesus coming, because he would be the best gift ever. And it's amazing that an angel came to Joseph and told him about his son Jesus and that Jesus was going to be God. And Mary also was visited by an angel. And so God is sending prophets and he's sending angels to tell people 
that his son Jesus is coming to save them and that he's coming to save the world from their sins. And so God is just telling everybody that Jesus is coming so that they can celebrate Christmas and be excited for Jesus' arrival. And so now, looking back in the past, we get to celebrate all that God did in the Bible and that he sent Jesus and that Jesus came. And now we know why Jesus came, because he came to save us from our sins, which is so exciting and very, very worth celebrating. So if you guys have any questions about angels or about Jesus or about Christmas, please ask us. We would love to talk to you guys about it. We would love to answer your questions. And we will come visit you guys this week, and we're going to talk more about Christmas. We'll talk about the Christmas store, and we'll talk about Christmas morning, and all these fun things that we're going to do with Thrive to celebrate Christmas and to celebrate Jesus' birth. So thank you guys so much for watching. I got super excited about Christmas and completely forgot to pray at the beginning of Bible study. So now I'm going to pray at the end and thank God for his wonderful gifts to us and thank him for sending Jesus. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for today, Lord. Thank you for the wonderful gift of Jesus. Thank you for loving the world so much that you sent your only son to die on the cross for our sins. And we just ask that you would give us faith and that you would help us to believe in Jesus and that we would believe your word, Lord. Thank you for Christmas and thank you for these kids and please bless this holiday season. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, so that is the end of Bible study. We will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And don't forget to keep up with those videos and write down every single one that you guys watch so we can check off the points for the Christmas story. See you guys soon. Bye.